Hey, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to be checking out Lalal AI, which is an audio separation tool that allows you to extract, for example, a vocal or a synth part or a piano part from an existing audio file without needing to have the individual stems or multi-tracks that made that file in the first place. And as you can imagine, this is really helpful for DJs or producers that want to take a vocal to create a remix or a mashup or anything like that. The other tools out there in the marketplace that allow you to do this are typically quite expensive. So I'm really excited to check out this option. Now, this is a sponsored video. So in the interest of transparency, I've put all of the details of how this video came about in the description down below if you wanted to check that out. So with this service, there is a free version, which I'm gonna walk you through. And I'm also gonna use a code that the company sent me in order to use the full service so that I can show you that as well. Here you can see the differences between the free and the paid version. Now you cannot fault this service for simplicity. So here I selected free, I put in my email, and then I clicked a link in my email to confirm my account and then I get 10 minutes of credit to use. And now the way that this works is if I upload a one minute track that I want separated out into a few different pieces of audio, that one minute comes off of my credit, I'd be left with nine minutes. From here, you just need to select what you want to separate, how aggressively you want the audio separated, and then drag and drop your file in here. After a while, you'll get a preview. And at this stage, you can either select a new separation algorithm, or you can choose to process the entire files if you're happy with what you're hearing. Once this has been processed, you can download the individual files. Now, in terms of how long this took, the longest song that I used was three minutes and 52 seconds. So essentially four minutes. After dragging and dropping, I waited for one minute and 10 seconds for the previews. And then once I'd hit process, I waited two minutes for those downloads to be ready. So that's a pretty speedy process considering it's completely hands off and you can be going off and getting a snack, you know, doing whatever you want to do during that time. So I wanted to test out four different separation types that would be useful for electronic music makers primarily, but also other people's. So I wanted to try vocals. I wanted to try bass. I wanted to try synths, which is in beta at the moment at the time of filming. And I also wanted to try extracting piano, like getting some classic house piano stabs out of a track to use, I think would be really handy. We're also gonna be listening to the instrumentals that are left behind once these elements have been extracted, which is also a really useful thing to have for production and remixing purposes. So I've gone ahead and run a bunch of audio through the service. Uh, I've loaded the results into Logic and we're gonna dive in and take a look at that now. So let's have a quick look here at what I've extracted. So I've taken this song to extract some vocals from. Let's have a quick listen to that. That's also what I'm gonna be trying to extract that piano stab from as well a little bit later on. I'm also gonna be using this little piece of audio to try and extract some synths and bass. So let's dive in with the vocals. Now with the vocal separation algorithm, you can go for three different levels of uh, aggression or mildness. So this is the mildest form of separation. Um, I'm going to start playing both of the tracks and then I'll solo out just the vocals and then we'll listen to the instrumental and yeah, see how it's come out. just the vocals. Okay, 
Okay, so that's done a pretty good job. I'm definitely still hearing artifacts. So mild means that it's the least sort of severe, uh, the least harsh sort of form of separation. So it's gonna be a little bit gentler. And we can hear that because of that, there are still some artifacts in there. When those that sort of stab comes in at the start of a bar, you can still hear that. I can still hear sort of an underlying element of drums. So I'd imagine it's using some form of gating, at least as part of the algorithm. So I can hear that that's not quite as severe as it probably will be in the aggressive setting. And because of that, to so say, we are still hearing either the reverb of these certain elements or the elements themselves still in there. Um, it's probably not unusable, but I'm imagining that this would be a little bit better on the harsher algorithms. That's just a, a guess at this point. But yeah, definitely usable. Let's have another listen through to the vocals and then I'll play the instrumental. So that first build up bit, I don't think has separated quite as nicely because there's actually like a vocal pad in there as well, which is probably confusing the algorithm. Um, and there's a lot going on, there's a rise there. So there's a lot of artifacts in that first bit. But when we get into that second bit where it's just, we're gonna lay our love on the line, I think that's separated relatively nicely. And once that's mixed in with another, uh, with another track, I think that's gonna be a lot less noticeable in terms of artifacts. So yeah, not bad. Now, just the instrumental. So that's like a weird pop on some of the kick drums. Let's have another listen to that. Yeah, definitely still hearing a little bit of vocal in the background there. So it's not separated out quite as aggressively as I think it will do later on. Um, probably not unusable. It depends how you want to be using it. And I think it will vary sort of throughout the track. So you might find that there are bits of the track that it completely wipes the vocal out really nice and cleanly. Other elements like that build up element, there's still quite a lot of sort of strange phasey vocals in the background. So yeah, probably gonna wanna be using a sort of harsher algorithm for these vocals to, to cut them out completely. But yeah, overall not, not awful. So let's move on to the normal setting for the sort of severity um, or the, the strength of the separation, let's call it that. Um, start off with just the vocals. So on both of these, uh, this normal one less so, but on both of them, I'm definitely hearing like percussion kind of in the background. Definitely better. Um, I can hear the gating coming in a little bit more, I think. Um, that, that is just a guess. I don't know how the algorithm works, but that's, that's what I think I'm hearing. Um, so that I would say is more usable, especially when it just gets to the, we're gonna lay our love on the line. I think that really is quite usable as as a remix sort of vocal stem. As I say, once you've, we're listening to this in isolation, so we're nitpicking, but um, yeah, if this was taken into a different track, you've got your own drums, bass synths going on underneath it. I think that's gonna be really useful. Uh, let's have a listen to the instrumental as well. Yeah, I can hear the, so in the buildup, not entirely sure. Um, you could definitely still hear stuff going on. Um, and in once it's dropped and it goes into the full drums, it's almost like fluttery. You're hearing the vocal in, in the background, which, which is a little bit strange. Um, let's have another listen. 
still that poppy kick as well. So I guess you could try and pass it off as like an atmospheric kind of effect because obviously it's going to be in key. Um, but yeah, definitely not completely stripping the vocal out of the instrumental there. But yeah, nevertheless, it, it was a full audio file. Now it's now it's not. The vocal's nowhere near as prominent as it is. definitely doing a decent job. Um, let's have a look at the last one of these vocals. To my ears, that's not a huge amount different. Um, they're all much of a muchness, I think, uh, to me. Let's go back to the mild now. Yeah, definitely more percussion and background stuff in the mild one. Yeah, still not a huge amount of difference. Definitely better in the aggressive setting, I think. Um, but there's, I think, there's limitations really to what this this stuff can really do. I think this this is a really impressive place to be. Like you have extracted a vocal. Yes, there's going to maybe be some artifacts. Maybe you could go in and really like take out like do some audio editing that would take out some of these imperfections but I, they've done a good 80% of the of the work there which I think for such an easy to use and free service um I think this is this is really cool to do um cool so that's the vocals and the instrumentals let's have a listen to the synths so um this is the sort of instrumentally um stuff that we that I put in there to try and see if we could extract synths and I think it's going to struggle to be honest because there's like an arp going on there's a pad there's some stabs and there's a bass um I don't know whether it's going to count that as a synth or not um so yeah not full of confidence this with this one because I think it's a really hard thing to do um so let's have a listen to the original just to give you an idea of that nope turn that loop off Okay, now let's listen to what it's counted as just the synths. Put it on another leap. So it almost sounds like it can't decide whether to include the art that did a little, little, little and the pad and uh, the kind of droney pad it they're ducking in and out it's like it, it's not sure whether to include it so it's pretty consistently brought the bass out of the rest of the track um that don't don't kind of stab is like it phases in and out it's not completely captured it i don't think yeah it's almost like it sounds like it's side chained almost if you 
you listen really closely, you can hear the click of the kick as well. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure that that would be useful because you've got bass in there, you've got some synth. Um, it would definitely be a case of like sampling that and finding like a little bit that you can use and yeah, maybe putting it into a sampler and, and using that. Um, but yeah, as suspected, it did struggle with that. So let's listen to the instrumental that's left behind. Mm. Okay, so we've pretty consistently got that arpeggio in there. And then that like wall is in there. It's sort of including the pad at times as well. Yeah, it's not done a great job of that, but it's currently in beta, give them some credit. That is an incredibly difficult thing to try and separate out. Um, let's move on to the bass. So I used the same um, same piece of music, but I just wanted to get the bass out of there and wanted to leave the rest of it in, in the track. So let's have a listen. Uh, don't need to listen to it all together. We've been listening to it all for a while. Let's listen to just the bass. So make sure you've got good headphones or speakers in order to be able to hear this bass because it's quite low and rumbly. Okay, so we're definitely getting the bassy sort of section of some of the synth parts. So when the synth parts are relatively low, they're being picked up as bass by this algorithm. Um, I don't think this is completely useless though. I think there, I heard at least a bar in there where there was no sort of interruption from synth parts. So that, that would be really useful. So you could take that, repeat it out, um, and if you wanted to still have some variation on it, you could use automation in order to do that. Um, so yeah, that's that's definitely pulled out the bass. I think it's pulled out a really nice chunk of bass, at least at some point in that extraction that could be used in a remix or in, in any other kind of, like creating your own bass samples. If you really like, um, you know, a bass sound that you hear in a track, run it through here, try and get a, a sort of clean extraction, at least some of it stick that into a sampler and yeah, that's that's good to use. Let's listen to the track that it left behind to see if it managed to take all of the bass out. So this should be a bassless instrumental. Wow. So I'm surprised that there, there is basically no bass in there that's that's actually done really really well um and the kick drum is still really nice and weighty it's not like it's just low past uh high past sorry everything um you're losing some synth so the stabs and like the swooshes we lose the low end of those um but i'm really surprised at how well say the drums have held up um and there is basically no trace of the bass in there <laughs> um yeah that's pretty impressive so moving on to the last one um we are going to be looking at the piano section so let's have a reminder of the track itself um and then i'll just solo out the piano section So it's that piano section that I'm trying to get out that do do. Uh, let's have a listen to it because it comes into a few different parts of the song as well. So let's hear what it's like down here. Okay, so let's listen to just the piano.
not sure. So for the individual piano hits where there were no stabs around it, it sounded okay. So let's see if we can find a few more of those earlier on in the track. Not with a stab. Not awful. You can definitely hear some stuff after um, after the stab finishes, like the kind of reverby bit. You hear some uh, some of the track in the background there. So maybe you just need to use volume automation to kind of smooth that out. Um, yeah, where where there's a stab or any kind of synth part, or maybe even a vocal part that's in a similar kind of region uh, frequency wise to that piano, it's clearly getting picked up as well. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you could get some decent sort of clean stabs out of there as long as you've got that stab in a section of the track that doesn't have anything else really going on. Um, when we got to this last little bit where the kind of chords came in, it wasn't doing a fantastic job um, just because there's so much consistent piano in there and stabs and drums and loads of stuff going on at the end there. It's having a tough time, I think, separating everything out. But let's have another listen to that at the end. I think mainly the volume going up and down is what's what's a little bit um, sort of jarring there, but let's have a listen. And you're hearing the click of the kick drum come through quite clearly a lot as well. It's like someone's got a low pass filter and they're going wow wow and the volume's going up and down and there's that click going on so it's yeah it's not managed to separate that quite well but again that was a difficult task so in terms of final thoughts if we're thinking about one of the main use cases which i think is going to be grabbing a vocal from an existing track so that you can use that vocal in a remix i would say this is absolutely a good tool to check out um, what I would suggest doing if you want to do that is grab a small bit of the track and try and find a section where the vocal is um, sort of really front and center and there's not much else going on in the track at that point. So if there's like a DJ intro section of the track before everything else comes in where you hear the vocal a couple of times, try and take it from there as opposed to when there's, you know, pianos or synths and stuff coming in because that means the algorithm will have an easier time separating everything out. Um, and also just doing a little bit of the track means that you're going to be paying less because you're putting less audio through. You could maybe even get away with just using the free plan for that, which is really useful to have. Um, where tracks get a little bit more crowded, I think the AI algorithm is still struggling a little bit to separate everything out. Um, but on the whole, I would say yeah, if, if what you're trying to separate is something like piano or vocal where it stands alone in the tracks at that time, aside from maybe drums, um, then this service has got a really good shot at extracting that in a way that's clean enough to use in a remix or some kind of production sense. So yeah, I'm really glad that I took the time to have a look at this because I think that's, that's a super useful tool. It's not a massive investment like a lot of the other alternatives out there really really simple to use so yeah absolutely recommend checking it out if this is something that you want to try and do so i really hope that you found that useful uh, massive thanks to lalal ai for sponsoring this video and letting me have a play around uh, and take this for a test drive i've really enjoyed it and i really hope to see you guys again soon take care